Just walking down from the fort in Jodhpur and I'm approaching one of the last gates just before you get down into the city and I've just come across these absolutely most amazing huge doors. You can see the height of them there. They've got to be at least seven meters high and about, about a quarter of the way up you've got these giant spikes um, that are in the old door and apparently these spikes were here to stop um, marauding and invading armies that were riding up on elephants from, from bulldozing the, the doors down with the heads of the elephants So these things are to stop the elephants from basically pushing the door down. Absolutely amazing. You can see the detail of the door, the giant nuts and the giant points and the construction of the door. Absolutely amazing. So I'll head down further down into the town and explore some of the old city. To head into a Jodhpur legend um, and that's the Hotel Mishralal where they serve the legendary uh, Makani Lassi here in Jodhpur. It's meant to be the best Lassi in the whole of India so let's see how we get on. Hello. Hello. Yes, please, yes. There we go. <laughs> and here's the lassie. That's what you get. There you go, just have a closer look. Legendary. <laughs> it's a really thick kind of, how can I describe a lassie? It's kind of, uh, it's got a big lump of curd on the top cream and then inside it's got this saffron uh, yogurt basically, a saffron milkshake. Mmm, really nice. So I just arrived at one of the uh, suppliers that, I, we, that we buy our furniture from. I'm just going to take you on a little guided tour as we go through. So here we go. So the first thing you'll notice is just the, the way that stuff is just absolutely packed up, stacked really high. Um, you can see these trunks up here. We just carry on down the line here. Um, here are some gorgeous bins um, that I'm going to get. They would make ideal planters. You can see the height of them here. Um, and there are some little, there's a mini one here. Um, these are probably going back 40, 50 years. They would have been used for storing chemicals. And here's another big one here. Um, really, really hefty. Um, just looking back here, you can see it's stuff is stacked up really, really high. And just up here, and I'll just take you, you can see right the way up there, it's got to be almost five or six meters tall. Um, so just take you down the line here and you can see stuff is just stacked up really high. A couple of uh, bins here, old bins. Here's one. Um, and I'm told reliably that that says uh, for spitting. So it's, a, it's an old spittoon. Obviously people don't really spit so much in public in India now. Um, so that will make an interesting uh, waste paper bin or perhaps an old planter. Here we've got um, an old uh, cool box. They're very, very hard to find nowadays and you'll find lots and lots of replicas around. And that says thunder, which I think means chilled. And that's a uh, gold spot. Um, and I'm not quite too sure what that means down there. I think it's drink. So cold gold spot drink. Um, and that's a piece that we'll definitely go to try and buy. Uh, just go further down along here. You can see the type of stuff. That's the sale all sorts of things this that's an old tin bath here you can see the kind of elliptical shape that's an old damachia here which is from gujarat or from parts of rajasthan um, used as a, a chest a real kind of statement piece um, we've got a couple of those so i'm probably not going to buy another one but it, it's beautiful you can see it's old original condition here you can see the um, glass paintings and the carvings of the horse, which are typical for the style. Um, quite tall, really decorative front. Uh, they don't extend that far back necessarily. So I'm here with Ashok and he's one of the lock restorers that we work with. So just to take you through briefly what the stages of uh, uh, restoring and repairing the locks are. The first stage will be to find a key that matches. Generally what happens 
is um, the locks are found or they don't have keys. So they're hanging on doors or they're just laying around. The first stage is to cut the lock. The second stage is to do the polishing and, and that's the stage that we're gonna show you here. So you can see the locks here. You can see the kind of distressed and kind of dirty condition that the locks are in. And you can see these are old original locks. This is one that says the State Bank of India and that's it engraved on the back there, it says State Bank of India. Um, so the next stage is to basically remove all of that dirt and grime um, and to come up with a nice shiny lock. So Ashok is just about to start here. Um, it, he's just about to start the polishing. Um, and he's just going to show us how the polishing is done. Hopefully you can hear over the microphone. Um, he's using a, a highly spinning polishing machine um, and all it's doing is taking off the grime and he uses a, a bit of an abrasive block here which is used on the pad and that, that gets rid of the grime basically. And the, the peg locks come in all sorts of shapes and sizes from these tiny little ones and then there's one that's just been done. He's, he's literally, literally just done the front of the lock there. So that's it after and that's what it looks like before it gets polished up and that's basically what we're looking for, nice shiny locks. Um, Thank you very much. Thank you, Ashok. We're here uh, with the unrestored frames for the, um, for the school tables. You can see there's a whole mountain of them here waiting to be restored. And that's literally, I'll just have a zoom in and you can see the condition of them here. You can see, literally, some of them are painted slight reds and some are greens. The majority of them seem to be green. They, they look like a, like a dirty colour, but that dirt will get washed off and you'll see a beautiful green colour underneath. And I'll take you over and we'll have a look at the, um, some of the tops over here. And up here, are the, up here are the tops for the tables. You can see them piled up here. I'll just grab one here, one of these. Um, and this is one. I'll just bring it down. Bring it down over here. You can see that's the top there. You can see all the kind of school graffiti uh, that's on them. You, you, dabs of paint, uh, graffiti, we love graffiti, nothing, nothing rude I hope, I'm just checking to make sure there's no rude graffiti, which is what we'd find on uh, British school furniture anyway, so really, really nice, a fantastic find, uh, that's the underneath, needs cleaning up, but uh, yeah, we're going to be really proud to have a whole load of these back home, fantastic tables. Um, and over here you can see some of the uh, frames that have been restored and are, are ready, to, ready to have the feet on, we'll just put some stoppers stoppers on the ends here to make sure they don't scratch floors but that's them pretty much ready to go and we're gonna have a whole load of these coming out in our container very shortly brand new kind of piece I've not seen available anywhere else before so another Scaramanga discovery <laughs>